Hey guys, Julie here. So I thought I would just um, make a video to show you guys how I make my toothless hoodie. This will not be a tutorial since this is what I do for a living, so I won't show you exactly how to do it, but I'll take you with me on the journey of making the hoodie from scratch. So this video will include everything from cutting out the fabric to sewing all the pieces together and at the very end I'll give you a little tour of how the hoodie looks finished. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it you'll leave it a thumbs up, so yeah, thank you. To start off I'm gonna gather up my references. For Toothless I have already drawn a hoodie design, so I'm gonna use this as a reference for cutting out my pieces. As I go, I'm just gonna put my pattern pieces onto my fabric and draw them. Please keep in mind that I do a lot of this freehand. My pattern is a pretty standardized pattern and I haven't gotten around to modify the pattern itself. So if you see me drawing a line way out of the pattern, uh, it's simply because I like to modify how my pieces will look in the end. All the details on this particular hoodie, like the tail, are all freehanded, so I don't have a pattern. If you follow me on DeviantArt, you know that I have a to-do list, and on that list is actually making pre-made like stencils for the tail and stuff on Toothless, but I haven't gotten around to do that yet. So for now, I'm just freehanding all of it. Since my red fabric piece actually was a perfect size, I decided to go ahead and cut two pieces of my tail fin. That's because I'm never fully satisfied with the shape of this, so when I find a shape and size I kinda like, I just go ahead and cut another one for later. That concludes the cutting part and we'll go on to sewing. I don't usually have a particular order to what I sew first, but normally I like to get the smaller pieces out of the way first. This way they are all done when I start pinning together the larger pieces of the garments. Especially with Toothless, adjusting the pieces take up a lot of time. I spend at least a few minutes on just placing the wings correctly onto the back piece, even before I start sewing them on.
One thing that doesn't show up that well on camera is the small seams on the tiny pieces. On both the wings and the tail fins, there are small seams to show the underlying architecture of the Night Fury skeleton. I think this adds to the feel of the design itself, so even though it's time consuming, I think the end result is worth it. The Viking skull on the artificial tail fin is hand painted on. This is a thing that will never look the same twice, and I hope that I one day will have a better machine so that I can make this embroidered in thread instead of painting it on. The hood and the tail are the things that give Toothless his unique look. There are a lot of elements to making his hood, but I decided not to include every single step in this video. To sort of trademark my own creations, and also make sure that no one claims it to be their own work, I have this little thing. In addition to telling you that it is a handmade item, it also shows you how to wash your piece of clothing, which comes in really handy when buying one. Normally, the tails I make are made up of two or three pieces. This one, on the other hand, has no less than seven pieces. The underside of the tail, the top of the tail with the spiky parts sewn in, both the tail fins and also the two smaller fins at the very root of the tail.
And finally, after all this work, I can finally declare this piece as done. It took a lot of hours, but I'm satisfied with the end result and I hope the new owner will be too. Here is a full view of this massive piece. It's made from warm, cozy fleece fabric and has a plastic zipper. The wings are not sewn completely down to make them more apparent. The tail is long and fluffy and slightly bounces off your legs as you walk. The size is custom for the customer and the hood is larger than your average shop bought hoodie. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.